Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome to the video. Today we're gonna to get started on the G.I. Joe Classified Python Patrol Bat. 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 I don't know why I repeated that, but anyway. Special thank you to Dan Who Reviews, who after Target canceled my pre-order, he offered to help me out over in the UK, and I got them shipped over here. So I appreciate you. Special shout out to you. I'll put a link to go visit his page, whether it's both his YouTube and his Instagram and his tweet tweeter. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for real. I do appreciate it and I appreciate you. So as we know, the bats are fun. I love army building these things. I have so many of the regular ones now, now that uh, a bunch of people are like shipping in the other ones. So I finally have a nice amount, but these guys, I would gladly settle for five, but there is something about this color scheme that just really resonates with me. Um, it's, it's really nice because I think of it like a real life outfit, right? You got your, your burgundy-ish uh, or, or red up there, whatever one you want to call it. You got your gray pants. You got your yellow outline. So you have a nice color contrast. Your drip is just right for a bat. So just like um, Gucci, <laughs> Gucci Destro, like these guys just have a, a color scheme that it feels like it just works. There's something about the Python Patrol and the Tiger Force. Their crazy colors just work for me. It really does. Just like with the Viper. It looks crazy, but when you think about them in comparison to what's going on with like the jungle schematic, it really works. Like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like people in the jungle, like with certain camo, and this is definitely the move. But yeah, oh, no, that does not work. <laughs> but yeah, so let's take this guy away. And as far as the bats go, it's just as good. For some reason, I just really love that outfit. So as far as our articulation goes, we can hit a T pose with little to no problem whatsoever, right? As far as our head articulation goes, we can go left, we can go right, we can go down just a little bit, and we can go up only a little bit. So it, considering your Android uh, is only looking at a certain thing, I guess this is okay, right? But I wish it had a little bit more movement going up, but I'm still very happy with it. As you can see, we have our butterfly joints that allow us to go backwards, and the same to go forward as well. We can actually just turn those to go all the way straight. I was just showing it off. We have a bicep swivel. We have a beautiful double joint. As you can see there, it can rotate on two parts. There we go. Look at that. So even if you break <laughs> your Android's arm, he's coming back for more. Don't worry about it, trust me. Just gonna flip his arm around. We have a horizontal hinge on both hands. We have a forward ab crunch. We have some backwards movement. We have a nice ability to, to rotate around with roticulation. As I've said many times by mistake, but now I'm saying it because I want to. Um, <laughs> we have the drop down legs, right? We do have thigh swivel as well. We have a double jointed knee. And we do have boot swivel and super generous ankle pivot to the point where I think these guys have some of the best articulation. If not, uh, it, it's second to none. Like it is really up there. The G.I. Joe classified line really has an excellent job of making sure your Joes can move. The only thing missing from this line are pretty much extra hands at this point, because we actually get a lot of accessories. And I feel like the only thing truly missing from this line is those extra hands, whether they're military hands, anything else. And as you can see, even with no toe pivot, he can move with the movement. And I love that. So now what we're gonna do is now that we've covered articulation, let's talk about the accessories. So now as we talk about the accessories, I have one backpack all rated up just like with the regular bats you can pretty much store everything in its backpack which is pretty cool really like that and this one has brown or burgundy -ish piping on the sides these are pretty much all black i'm gonna try to i don't know what it is about my lights or recording at night maybe i shouldn't record in the middle of the night but it's the only free time i really do have um as we take these guys out right here is our flamethrower part right it has a porthole so if you want to stick effect parts in there feel free to we have the claw hand i don't know why i can't get that other one out <laughs> but here is the claw hand as well and then we have and i'm going to just take this one from over here from the other bat we have the other nozzle hand which can either be a blaster or a drill whatever the hell you want it to be but it also has a port as well for you to use let's pop our backpack on so you can see what it looks like with its backpack and we can swap a few hands out, right? Actually, we'll swap out one hand because I actually want to talk about uh, weapons in that hand. And as you can see, even with the claw hand, we're looking good out here in the streets. We really are. 
Like, I really like the bats and I like the way they look. And this color scheme is going to be dope as hell for photos. I know it sounds crazy, but they really do look good in photos. We also get a sidearm blaster. And this one is slightly different than our first original bat. There's some nice yellow right here on the backhand side of the grip. Uh, the slide mechanism up top is all the same, as well as... I do not know what this is. I'm not sure if it's a light or not, but it wouldn't make sense if it was a light because especially in the jungle, you're gonna need that, especially at night. Not for the bat itself, it probably has night vision. And then we have our front plate, which says Python Patrol. Yeah. And we can place this right on front. Let's see if it locks in really good. Oh, I guess not. So let's try it again. Maybe I messed up. Yeah, I messed up. <laughs> So that was all me the first time. But yeah, look at that. Look at this Python patrol looking crazy. Like you would definitely 100% see this guy coming. There's no camo on this, but I think that's kind of what Cobra wants in the bats. It's pretty much showing off like they know that they're coming and they're completely badass. I really like bats, man, I really do. So these guys are really cool. Um, I'm super excited for this. And again, thank you to Dan who, who hooked it up uh, when Target canceled my order. I appreciate you getting my original order over to me uh, with your help. I really do. So with that being said, the other thing I want to do is I want to take a normal plate, right? And show you how it looks with a normal plate on it. So here we are placing a, well, not normal, but the damage plate on it. So here we are with our damage plate. Now you can see that actually looks really good on this guy. These guys do not come with damaged heads though. So that's the one downside. You won't get the damage head like the previous one. So that kind of sucks, but up to a normal bat, it actually, these are a nice contrast with each other. You know what I mean? So there you have that. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump into the size comparison. I'm gonna get this guy all nice and standing straight up and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, now we're gonna jump into the size comparisons. Um, ooh. First, I did forget to, to talk about something. I talked about it in my previous bat video, but just in case, uh, on the Python Patrol and most G.I. Joe stuff, they can easily hold pretty much any and all Mezco weapons. Also, if you have third-party weapons like uh, uh, Anthane Arsenal, or if you have Gridiron props, those stuff work perfectly fine with any of the G.I. Joe classified stuff in case you're not happy with any of the G.I. Joe weapons. So I just wanted to make sure I made that clear. Now. Size comparison wise, and this one is actually just a color thing. We're going to talk about, well, and actually we're not gonna talk about it. You guys are gonna look at the fact that these two are com same figure, different color swap. So now you can see it. Then we have our Python Patrol Viper, which I will, I don't know if I'm gonna review yet, but yeah. So now we got our Python Viper, but I will take pictures with them with the Python Patrol. So we will have that, right? Here we are up next with the Alley Viper. Right, 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 right. Ellie Viper. Team Ellie Viper. Um, <laughs> here we are with Roadblock. And as you can see, Roadblock is actually bigger than our Python Patrol. I like that all the Joes are like different sizes. There's no same size Joe stuff. So here we are with a, this one is actually pretty important to me, the Cobra Officer. Because technically the Cobra Officers are around for Python Patrol. And then we have Cobra Infantry, right? Shout out to Figure Fix for Cobra Officer. I appreciate that. Right? So you have that. Then you will have characters like Lady J who are smaller than, but you want to see what they look like. So here is Lady J. Cannot wait for that retro carded one. Then we got uh, Gucci Destro, aka Pimp Daddy Destro, aka the Golden Lord. Right? Now, if you want to do some action force stuff, here is Rollout. From Action Force, which is actually stands at a very good size with them, and he actually will look really good doing some versus stuff against Python Patrol. And in case you're curious, because it took me forever to find my swarm after I've been cleaning up, so here's a picture of the swarm with them with Python Patrol. Right now, we're gonna do some. Oh, last but not least, Commando Snake Eyes, which I do believe. It's a pretty nice size, a little bit smaller. Next up, we have a Power Rangers Lightning Collection in space, Silver Ranger. Then we have a 
Articulated Icon Sand Ninja from Foosh Toys. We have a Marvel Legends Ben Riley. We have a nice, nice, nice lot this week to compare to as I'm sitting here trying to organize stuff. Um, ooh, Mezco Ichigo on a black skull body. Ichigo! Actually, you'd look really good against Python Patrol right now. That actually is a good look. So let's do that. <laughs> uh, oh, last but not least, we're going to have two last ones. And one of them is your main man, SH Figure Arts Kamen Rider Kuga. The man 50 grand, the man who fights any army builder, the man of 2,000 skills. And then last but not least, we're going to use a Mythic Legion. So here we are with a Mythic Legion. I never found a name for this guy, but I should probably call him... The Turquoise Knight? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I'll figure something out. Teal Knight, whatever. I don't know. I'll just make up names as I go. Bull Knight. I don't know. <laughs> Write one in the comments because I'm pretty sure someone will anyway. But either way, uh, thank you for watching as I record videos at like 3 a.m. in the middle of the night because I can't sleep. Thank you for uh, checking out my videos in general because I noticed that even though people don't watch my videos, they watch my videos. And that means a lot. That means you at least try. And, you know, trying is like the first step of sucking at something, but then getting really good because you keep at it. Right. So that's always pretty cool. Um, thank you for not giving up on my reviews, even though I like do the same stuff <laughs> and you just come for the pretty pictures because that means you still like it in some shape or form. And I appreciate that. Um, I hope you are doing good. I hope you are well. I hope you're healthy. And if you're not, I hope tomorrow changes that for you. For real. So as always, please be good. Do good. Drink your water, guys. Later. Thank you.